All right, y'all, today I'm gonna show y'all how to make some Cajun jambalaya, y'all, on the griddle. I don't know if y'all ever tried it, but this is definitely one you're gonna wanna try, so let's go. Go ahead and hit that griddle with some oil, y'all. All right, y'all, go in there with one yellow onion, a large one. Go ahead with like one whole red bell pepper, y'all. One whole green bell pepper. And then you wanna go up on there, y'all, with four sticks of celery, okay? All right, y'all, go in there with two pounds of cut up chicken thighs. Make sure that your, your thighs, y'all, are boneless and skinless, okay? Go ahead with my Cajun seasoning, y'all, and hit everything up, okay? Even the vegetables. Go ahead with some onion, y'all, and garlic powder, okay? Don't be scared to get it really seasoned. Now check it out. You definitely want to use some dry parsley, y'all. It just gives it a really good flavor, okay? So don't be scared to use plenty of that. Let me tell you. Because your jambalaya comes out, you want it to have a delicious flavor, okay? It's got to have a lot of seasoning to make that happen. Go ahead on, y'all. Hit it with your salt and your pepper. You know, it's a taste on that, really. All right, y'all. You definitely want to throw some W sauce down on it. Don't be scared, okay? On the chicken as well as your vegetables, all right? Hit it up with that W sauce, gives it a great flavor. Oh yeah. We ain't even got no more, it's so good I didn't use it all. All right, y'all, just go ahead on and flip that chicken around. Keep it on a rather low heat because you don't want to burn it, okay? But come take a look at it. Come see all the seasoning up on this chicken, y'all. That right there is all seasoning, baby. Look at that there. Now just go ahead on y'all, just flip your vegetables around, like I said, on a low heat because you don't want to burn nothing up. And let's get these vegetables all sauteed down, okay? Just mix them about y'all. Get that chicken rolling, that's going to be cooking up, that's going to be done soon. Get the vegetables real soft, you know? It might take about 10 minutes on the griddle, maybe even 8 because, you know, everything fast on the griddle, okay? Alright y'all, so check it out. When your vegetables are about halfway done, Go in there with about a half a stick of butter. And just let that melt down, y'all. Make sure that they're going to get just like we want them, nice and soft and keep them moist, okay? You're going to want to throw a half a stick of butter, like I said, when they're halfway cooked up. Y'all go ahead on there with a pound of andouille sausage, okay? Now go ahead and throw some of my Cajun seasoning on the andouille sausage, y'all, and a half a stick of butter, okay? Let that andouille sausage get nice and brown. So now this is, the, this is the part right here that really matters. You gotta have two cups of cold rice from yesterday that you done put in the refrigerator and let it sit in that refrigerator all night long, okay? Hit that on that griddle because otherwise your rice is gonna be soggy and you don't want that, all right? So make sure you do it the day before, not three hours before, the day before. All right, so just go ahead and push everything together. We need to get everything nice and mixed up in here, y'all. The vegetables, the sausage, the chicken, and all these flavors, y'all, so. All right, so we got everything all combined and mixed up. Look how pretty this looks. Come show them how pretty this is. Boy, that, I tell you, man, that's some good eating right there. Now we're gonna do, y'all, we're gonna hit it with my Cajun seasoning, okay? Because you gotta remember, we added in that rice, okay? So hit it with that Cajun seasoning. Definitely wanna hit it with some onion and garlic powder, all right? That rice is gonna knock down that flavor a lot. Let me tell you something. I don't care what nobody tells you, y'all. This some good eat. I love garlic, so you know I'm going to hit it up. Check it out. Man, man. Now just go ahead on, y'all. Give it up a good hit. Look, you out at a barbecue, you're camping, you're at your family's house or whatever have you. You want to do something outdoors, the 4th of July is coming up, y'all. Make it some jambalaya on the griddle. Don't listen to what nobody tells you. I guarantee you this is good eating, okay? So like I said, this is the perfect meal for like 4th of July coming up. You want to be outdoors on a griddle, this jambalaya, it will be a hit. You can double or triple this recipe, y'all. Depending on how many people you're going to have there, but come on and take a look at it. It won't last long on your griddle. I can guarantee you that. So keep in mind that this jambalaya right here would be considered a Cajun jambalaya because it doesn't have tomatoes. The difference between Creole, y'all, and, and the Cajun, y'all, is that the Cajun folks, 
don't use tomatoes and us Creole people we do I didn't use tomatoes today because I was doing it on the griddle but other than that y'all let me know what you think in the comments hit that like button and subscribe to the channel I appreciate you